Recounts? Who recares? Also, get this. Genetically engineered herpes is being used to kill cancer, and Google answers the question, are Jews evil? Welcome to Skywatch TV News for December 7th, 2016. I am Josh Peck, in today for Derek Gilbert. In our top story, statewide recounts of the presidential election in key areas are doing little to change the math behind Donald Trump's victory. In Wisconsin, one of three states where Green Party candidate Jill Stein has pushed for a recount, the president-elect has even gained more votes on Hillary Clinton. Meanwhile, the push for a recount in Pennsylvania is waiting on a federal court's approval, and a similar effort in Michigan has run into new problems. But while Trump narrowly defeated Clinton in all three states, the numbers trickling in look unlikely to call into question the November 8th results. In fact, Drew Spencer Penrose, legal director at Fair Vote, is quoted as saying, in any election, the actual change in the margin of votes is very, very low. For people hoping for a change in the results, I wouldn't hold my breath. Next, move aside, chemo. Cancer has a new threat. Genetically modified herpes is now the latest weapon in the fight against cancer. Last fall, in a surprising move, the FDA approved a genetically engineered herpes virus to treat late-stage melanoma, which is the deadliest form of skin cancer. It was the first of this type of virus therapy to win such approval. Now, unlike chemotherapy, which attacks both cancer cells and healthy tissues, this type of treatment is said to stimulate the body's own immune system to destroy cancer cells while sparing healthy cells. Now, as early as the 1900s, scientists observed that viruses could kill cancer cells. In 1904, an Italian woman diagnosed with cervical cancer was bitten by a dog. And after she received the rabies vaccine, which is a weakened form of the rabies virus, her large tumor disappeared and she lived cancer-free for another eight years. Now, despite these early discoveries, the field remained dormant for decades. But... In the early 1990s, two breakthroughs revived interest in cancer-fighting virus research. Scientists discovered how to genetically alter the herpes virus so a patient would uh, not become ill with the infection. They then learned how to modify its genes so it could replicate within cancer cells, optimizing its cancer-fighting abilities. Now, of course, this leaves many wondering, what are the long-term effects? Is genetic engineering, is genetically engineering a virus uh, and introducing it into the human body even safe? Is it more dangerous than cancer itself or is it a viable and safe treatment? Uh, there are moral questions as well, such as if we should be genetically modifying anything at all, even in the name of cancer treatment. This also leaves some to wonder if marketing this as a treatment for cancer isn't only to help the advancement of genetic engineering as a whole in all areas, even toward the pursuit of improving upon God's design and phasing out humanity as a whole. But perhaps only time will tell. Now, lastly, Google found themselves in a bit of trouble over their search engine's autocomplete function. Now, because of this, Google will no longer offer search suggestion results for Are Jews Evil, which, direct, which uh, actually direct users to anti-Semitic websites. Now, represent, representatives of the search engine says it has removed offensive autocomplete results. Before, Google suggested a search for Are Jews Evil when Our Jews was typed into the search box. And typing Are Women and Are Muslims returned Are Women Evil and Are Muslims Bad. Now, on the surface, this sounds like Google is taking action against an obvious problem. But when we dig deeper, we find out who is really set up to take the blame for this. When noticing the initial problem, a data scientist urged Google to take action, noting, and this is a direct quote, it had clearly become a conduit for right-wing hate sites and a victim of the troll army. Now, notice it's not just hate sites, but right-wing hate sites, further pushing the idea that hate, racism, and sexism is a right-wing problem that the rest of the world seems to be immune to. Also notice that the examples given, the ones that upset this uh, data scientist so much, were all questions. Now, a question being a request for information doesn't provide information on its own. The question, are Muslims bad, can have more than one answer. And it's the answer that projects either acceptance or racism. Now, if the internet was full of websites that stated Muslims are no more bad than anyone uh, of any other race, the person asking the question in Google search engine would get an accurate answer, and the question wouldn't be offensive at all. The obvious solution to this problem would be to go after the hate sites. But of course, this would trample on people's freedom of speech, even if that speech is unfounded hatred towards a race or a gender. So since they can't go after the websites themselves, they have instead gone after specific keywords 
or even combinations of keywords. Now, again, on the surface, this seems fine because at least right now, the only victims of this are those people running these hate sites. But this puts us on a, a slippery slope because who gets to decide what constitutes hatred? What beliefs do average Christians have that would be considered offensive? If I quote a certain Bible verse from the book of Leviticus that contains keywords deemed offensive, does that mean that I'm a hate-mongering right-winger with nothing but evil intents and nothing positive to offer the world through, through the internet? You know, how, how long will it be until this excuse is used against the church in this ongoing war against Christians? Now, of course, we as Christians should have absolutely nothing to do with hate sites, racism, and sexism. Remember, we're known by our fruit, and the Apostle Paul even said that love is the most important thing at, uh, of all. Now, despite this, however, we, we do live in a broken world with twisted theologies. But as always, the true solution to all of this is love through Jesus Christ, love for one another, even if we disagree. Ephesians 6 tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and other spiritual enemies. Our true enemy is a spiritual one. So let's come together as Christians against that instead of against other people who, if they don't know Jesus, they're prisoners of, of war that they don't even know is happening and who need our help to show them the love of Jesus Christ, that, the love that he provides. And we show that through our behavior and treatment of our fellow men and women. Now make sure to tune in tomorrow as we will be airing a special episode of Teens Rock with Joe Artis Horn. You will not want to miss that one. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the little subscribe button in the corner of your screen. Also, make sure to stay tuned to Skywatch TV. This week, we continue our five-part series delving into three books, Abaddon Ascending by yours truly and Tom Horn, The Sherith Imperative by Dr. Michael Lake, and Final Fire by Donna Howell, Larry Spargimino, and Tom Horn. So head on over to skywatchtv.com for more information. Well, I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, take care, and God bless. Coming exclusively from Skywatch TV, for a very limited time, starting December 6, 2016, when you purchase the new three-book special investigative research collection, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and the Sherith Imperative from SkywatchTV.com, you'll receive the largest giveaway in Skywatch TV history. An unprecedented value of over $400 in free books, DVDs, audio files, and the never-before-released data DVD library from Dr. Michael Lake on The Sherith Imperative, which includes 56 Christian classic works on PDF. All 28 episodes in Dr. Michael Lake's Understanding the Kingdom audio series. The latest version of Eastward for Windows. The three-part Into the Multiverse television series where Josh Peck interviews Dr. Michael Lake on the Sherith Imperative. And nearly three hours of bonus interviews on video with Dr. Lake on the Sharpening Report. For your library or to give away as gifts. Also included in this biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history are Josh Peck's full-length 2016 DVD presentations, The Quantum Future, and Extra Dimensional UFOs. Dr. Michael Lake's full-length 2016 DVD presentations, Jericho, The Anatomy of a Stronghold, and The Shinar Directive. The new five-part Skywatch TV special investigative report on the books, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and The Sherith Imperative. But that's not all. You'll also receive the new Best of Skywatch television on DVD, over five and a half hours of the most popular episodes in Skywatch TV history. You travel through the multiverse on the new Best of Into the Multiverse on DVD, over five hours of audio with Josh Peck on the coming Technocalypse, the best-selling book, The Final Roman Emperor, an incredible five-year subscription to the Skywatch magazine, two brand new free gift books, and the never before released data DVD library from Dr. Michael Lake on The Sherith Imperative. For your library or to give away as gifts, an unprecedented value of over $400 in never before offered free products. 
This is the biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history, and it's yours absolutely free when you purchase the new three-book special investigative research collection, Abaddon Ascending, Final Fire, and the Sheerith Imperative for only $39.95 plus shipping from skywatchtv.com beginning December 6, 2016. But be advised, this astonishing promotion is limited to first come, first serve while supplies last. So it's urgent that beginning December 6, 2016, you place your order for the new three-book special investigative research collection. This offer is on a limited time basis and will end without notification. So be sure to visit skywatchtv.com to follow the updates. In the countdown to the biggest giveaway in Skywatch TV history, the unprecedented value of over $400 in never-before-offered free products while supplies last. For more details, log on to skywatchtv.com.